Picks 11 puts you first. Presented by Jacoby and Myers, New York's injury lawyers. We live here too. Well, the milder weather brings a surge in outdoor activities like road construction, bicycling, walking, and motorcycle riding. And that means sharing the road with motorists. Yeah, and over the past year, we've partnered with Jacoby and Myers. Put your safety first. So today mm -hmm. we're talking about spring safety tips and the most common types of accidents and how to avoid them. Yes, we are joined by our friend, the managing partner with Jacoby and Myers New York, Andrew Finkelstein. It's so great to see you again, Andrew. Nice seeing you, Marisol. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Andrew. So, yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm playing Frogger. I was just going to these... say, it's human Frogger <laughs> out here on these streets. <laughs> on the streets. So New York City in particular, it's a madhouse. So many different vehicles on the road. Then you have pedestrians, tourists, all sorts of humans. What's the number one tip to keep yourself accident free? Well, it's a blend of two. Mm. It's really speed. Speed mm. always kills. What happens when we're in a rush and we don't plan for enough time, we take risks, we try to get someplace faster than we need to actually get there because we didn't plan ahead. Uh, that goes for pedestrians and motorcyclists, motorists, bicyclists. It's generally speed kills. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had so many cases, and I've had the benefit of looking at so many of these cases, and when you look in hindsight, it's always speed. Uh, the other, I would say the 1B to that is also distractions. Mm. Uh, we have so many distractions that are, that are presented to us that people kind of take things and have an expectation that things are going to be a certain way so that they stop paying attention. Mm -hmm. They have their AirPods in, headphones on, and kind of uh, immune to their surroundings, and that's when bad things happen. Right. Listen, I know that's right. I talk about this every morning mm -hmm. before I well, assume right. the uh, New York living duties. I am the tr resident traffic reporter here. Mm -hmm. Distracted driving dr distracted driving is a literal killer. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, but you mentioned headphones. So talk to us about that and the distractions, because everyone's got the headphones on. Mm -hmm. all over the place, but you're saying take them off. And it makes sense, but explain. Yeah. Well, uh, not always necessarily take them off, but lower the volume. Mm. Okay. Uh, they're, they're, what happens is we have to be cognitively aware of what's going on around us. And the more that we uh, put sound into our ears, we're taking sound away from our environment, and you have to listen to what's going on in your environment. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a, a low volume, that's okay. Yeah. But when it's so loud, you can't hear what's going on in your environment, you're, you're really distracted, and you're exposing yourself to dangers. And a lot of times, you can't hear the warnings when people right. are trying to tell you, watch out for some hazard that's about to come upon you. Yeah, sticking with pedestrian safety, Andrew, you just mentioned uh, if you do wear headphones or AirPods, be cognizant of the ambient sound around you. So I always say, if I'm wearing, if I'm running and I have headphones, if I can't hear someone say, "Hey, Marty," then I need to lower them. But what else should we be doing to avoid accidents? Well, stay on the sidewalk. You know, it, especially when that nice weather comes about, everybody's out uh, walking around, uh, and we sometimes get a little frustrated. Maybe there's some tourists ahead of us walking a little slower than we would, uh, as New Yorkers, walk. <laughs> Mm. Uh, so what, what do we have to do? Uh, not jump into the road, not step into the bike path, because frankly, that's where the hazards are. That's where really bad things happen. So uh, take your time, let the people, you know, that, that gap will open up right, yeah. and then you can get normal walking pace, but don't step out into that roadway uh, because that's, I've seen too many situations where uh, out of frustration and we have so some place to go and where we haven't timed it properly that uh, we're putting ourselves in a hazardous mm -hmm. situation without really realizing it. Right. And you mentioned that bike lane. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been caught there before thinking no. I'm like, you know, no. go, especially when you're parking on a metered spot because it's always next to the bike lane and you're like, da da da. And then, nope, yeah. here comes the delivery guy, you the gotta, Grubhub guy. You on gotta the, look both You gotta ways. be careful. The bike, line, the bike lane and the actual lanes for the cars. Mm. So that's, you know, as a pedestrian, right. we have to do our, our duty as well. But what about the driver's responsibility? What should they be doing to avoid an accident with a pedestrian? There, uh, once again, speed kills. Mm. Yeah. Uh, take it slow. Uh, the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. That's so right. you, 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 people lose sight of that. And uh, I've never 
help somebody after a tragedy where they said, oh, I was going too slow. Right. <laughs> it's always they were going too fast. Yeah. Uh, so, and and really important as, as an operator of a uh, two ton, five ton, 10 ton vehicle against a pedestrian or a bicyclist, yeah. you have the obligation to yield the right of way. Right. So uh, make sure you do so. Don't don't stop in the cross paths. Um, let give people the right of way. If somebody has stopped ahead of you uh, as a vehicle, don't go around them uh, to try and uh, you know beat the beat the light or something like that. Yeah. Um, really, it's it's about being ultra careful because it's ultra hazardous when there are a lot of pedestrians around. That's so very My true. My father I have, always I, said, yeah. the best offense. Is a good defense. Is a good defense when driving. Him and Michael Jordan. Oh, wait. Accidents happen, as you mentioned. What is your best advice if you get into an accident on a jammed New York City street or highway? Should you move your car, or your bike, or do you leave it and wait for the and wait for the police to look at it at the scene? Well, uh, it really depends. If somebody is really badly hurt, first thing you do is call nine one one, right? Uh, get the ambulance there and, and get the help that you need. Uh, the, then it is okay to move the vehicle from the actual location, but before you do, everybody has cell phones. Yeah, take yeah, photos, sure. right? Just take some photos of the actual locations of where they were, and then when the police get there, you can describe that location, but it's not necessary for them to be left in the exact location as long as you document it. Amen. Uh, what you also want to do, is, and what often people don't realize is, take photos of the surroundings but not so close to the vehicle step back a little bit so you can see the the general the totality of yeah, the bigger area. picture yeah take the perspective for sure where somebody was coming from where you were coming from uh and then also uh, really important take a look at the buildings nearby because so many of them have surveillance cameras ah. Uh, it's important to track down the, all those surveillance cameras yes, uh, they yes, yes. Live but they, most of those surveillance cameras aren't looking for crashes that may happen in the road. Right. They're looking for alternative right. uh, scenarios. But they're often will be happy to preserve it and give right. it to you. Uh, but you have to look for it. Andrew, thank you so much for all of this wonderful advice for our viewers. Thanks for being here. Thanks thank for you. sharing. And if you'd like more information My on pleasure. safety on the roads, head to jmlawyer.com. And for Andrew's next visit, we are going to ask you, our viewers at home, to share your questions beforehand so Andrew and the Jacobian Myers team can address your concerns. So be on the lookout for details on the next safety topic and how you can ask the experts. Very, very important. Yeah.